Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, where you see the final score there. Derrick Henry, well over 100 yards on the ground with three touchdown runs. We'll stay in the NFC North as we head over to Green Bay to check on the Packers at home at Lambeau. And it was the visiting Carolina Panthers who were victorious in that one. Terrace Marshall, a touchdown catch in the victory. Finally, let's get down to Miami to see what's going on with the Dolphins. And it was the visiting San Francisco 49ers that come in and get the victory. Christian McCaffrey, well over 100 yards on the ground with a pair of touchdown runs. Time now for a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Eagles. And it's been the passing game that's been the story. They have feasted on this secondary to the tune of 200-plus yards already through two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Colts, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And the half will begin with a touchback. Wide receiver A.J. Brown, you see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. 43 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside, and so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Dancing to his left. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. To throw again on second down. Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Five yards. Sets up to throw it. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half and now seven on the game. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing is Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Hurts. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. On third down, he'll drop to throw. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And out of bounds right around the 20. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, if plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, it creates a penalty. And he's going to pull his way right down. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? 
Sanders again, but he will lose yardage here. Back to the four-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. They'll look to throw here. Touchdown! Dallas Goddard from four yards out. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead now up to 14. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads into bigger errors. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Over the middle, hauled in by Pierce. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Looking to throw. Robinson, a throw on the money there to Doolin. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. Now Robinson on first and 10. And this one complete to Doolin. And they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. A couple of first downs right in succession. And this is an offense that can really use a good drive and they're off to a fast start here. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They run once more with Taylor. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Back to throw. Robinson. He finds Pierce. It's complete. He's got the first down and more. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. Looking for Pearson, he's got him. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Alec Pierce with his second touchdown of the night. And the Colts have got it back to within a score. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that cuts the lead to 24-17. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So here are the Eagles to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. But first down, Hurts. Got a man, it's Brown. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Uh, he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. They're going to look to throw. 
It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He'll look to throw. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. To throw again on second down. Hurts buying time to his left. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll look to throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. To throw once more on second and 10. Hurts finds Lazard quickly on the slant. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Second down, back to Sanders. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air, escaping the pressure. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. So Hurts is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. Made his first, this now from 46 yards away. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown in this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. This will be fielded inside the five. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. As that ball got away from him and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. On second and nine, Hurts. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. And it's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got Bioski, maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. First and 10, Taylor now. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Looking to throw, Robinson. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Crucial foul, roughing the tackle from Ethan. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Back to throw, Robinson. Quick slant caught by Pierce. And the Colts are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And they're not 
going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Robinson looking to throw on second down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A very costly sack there on third and goal. Pushes him back big time. And now you figure the field goal team coming on on fourth. Remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. It'll be from the right hash and it'll be a 36-yarder. And his kick is right there. It's good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back preferably a takeaway a solid return pretty good field position they'll start at the 32 Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at about the 32 Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep and not much of an opening there as he's only going to get this to about the 32 on second and nine Hurts Allen has it, left side. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They'll set up a throw. Able to find Lazard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's the option play now to the left. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll drop the throw. This is Smith with a grab. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. We'll go down as a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. To throw is Robinson, throwing on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. On the give, this is their fullback. 
He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Robinson now from the gun on third down. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Looking to throw. Robinson. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Throw to cross his body, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Hurts' throw brought in by Brown. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And he's going to get this down near the 25. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Throw right side. Caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Complete. Smith has it. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Throwing his hurts. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Back to throw. Robinson. And this is incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. Brings up second and 10. Looking to throw. Robinson. Thomas has got it, complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll look to throw again. And he'll go right back to Thomas, complete again. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Back to throw again. 
And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to get it back here just past the 35. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Robinson throwing to start the drive. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Back to throw. Robinson. A throw on the money there to Doolin. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. To throw again, Robinson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Now Robinson on third and two. And he is going to have a Colts first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. Rolling to his left. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. So it's the Eagles who get the win here. And the guy who really led the way was their quarterback, CD, and that's Jam.